I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We'll talk about intersection of planes and a point on the line of intersection which is going to be closest from the given external point. Now this question is from one of my students and I hope the solution will help many others. Question here is two planes with equation x minus y plus 2x equals to 2 and x plus y minus z equals to minus 2 intersects along line L. Determine the coordinates of the point on L that gives minimal distance from point P. So, so the planes are given to us, let's say plane 1 which is given to us as x minus y plus 2z equals to 2. The second plane is given to us as x plus y minus z equals to minus 2. Now we need to find their intersection. Now as you can see clearly their normals are not scalar multiples so they should intersect in a line correct so line means we have to uh, introduce a parameter to get the equation now since there are two equations definitely we need a parameter right okay so it is easier to see that if I add these two lines y's get cancelled so my equation number one equation number two Let's add equation number 1 with equation number 2. What do we get? We get 2x, y is cancelled, and we get plus z equals to 0. Right. So that's it. So now, now we need to define some parameters. So we could write here that z equals to minus 2x and since I want to avoid the fractions I will take x as equal to parameter t in that case z will be what minus 2t great so we got x and t from here we can also find y by you know substituting these values in uh, the other equation so we got two values let me just yeah clearly mark them now what now we need to find y also we can use the second equation substitute t and uh, minus 2t for z to get y so from here from equation number two let's call this as a block three okay so from equation 2 and 3, what do we get? We have here x plus y minus z equals to minus 2. Now instead of x, I am going to place t here. And instead of z, I am going to put minus 2t, correct? Equals to minus 2. So y is equal to we'll take these terms to the right side so that becomes minus 3t minus 2 so that is the value of y so we got uh, x y and z so now we can actually write down the equation of line also since we get the general form a uh, parametric form so from here let me write down what the equation of line will be so let's uh, take it here so the equation of the line will be what so equation of line will be we got x equals to t y equals to minus 2 minus 3t and z equals to minus 2t correct so we get the equation of the line so that's the parametric equation 
where definitely t belongs to real numbers. Now second part of this is determine the coordinates of the point on L that gives minimal distance from point this. Now that means that we could take this as a general point Q, right? So that would be a general point Q. So we'll say a point Q will have these values, right? So we have a point Q whose values could be t minus 2 minus 3t and minus 2t, correct? That becomes Q. So let's find what is PQ equals to, right? So from P to Q is what? So PQ will be, now P is given to us as this. So T minus 1, so it becomes plus 1, minus 2 minus 3T minus 2, and we have minus 2T minus 1, that becomes plus 1. So that becomes PQ. Uh, we could simplify this a bit. We could write this as T plus 1. And that becomes uh, minus 2 minus 4 minus 3T. And that is minus 2T plus 1. Okay. Now, the direction of the line is what? From here you can get the direction of the line. We know the direction M of the line is so 1 and this is minus 3 and that is minus 2. So that is the direction of the line. So basically since we want the shortest distance PQ dot M should be equal to 0. Right? So that is what it is. So we'll do this. So we have this PQ, which is T plus 1, minus 4, minus 3T, minus 2T plus 1, dot, this direction, which is 1, minus 3, minus 2, that should be equal to 0. So let's multiply. We get T plus 1, minus 3 times this gives us plus 12, plus 9T minus 2 times, so that's a dot product, so that gives you plus 4t, and this gives you minus 2 equals to 0. So, let's add this, 10 plus 4, 14t, numbers 1 plus 12 is 13, minus 2 is 11, equals to 0, so t is equal to minus 11 by 14. So we get the value of t. Now we can find x, y, z, the coordinates of the point, correct? So let's write down all the coordinates here. Okay, so x for t equals to, let's highlight this t also. So the point which is going to give the shortest distance is going to be x equals to the value of t itself, which is minus 11 over 14, y will be equal to minus 2 minus 33 over 14, right? So let's calculate this. So that becomes minus 28, okay, minus 33 over 14. So that is basically equals to y will be uh, minus... 3 and 8 is 11, then one more. So 3 and 3 is 61 over 44. And the value of z will be equals to minus 2 times t. So that becomes plus 22 over 14. Or you can write 11 over 7, right? So 11 over 7. So let me write down the answer here. The point will be minus 11 over 14. And then we have a y value of minus 61 over 14. Yeah, 14, not 44. And the z value is uh, minus 11 over 7. 
So that is how you're going to solve it. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. The idea is first find the equation of the line. So we got the equation of the line here. And then we use the general point Q on the line. Now if that point Q has to have shortest distance with the given point P, then PQ is going to be perpendicular to the line which has a direction of 1 minus 3 minus 2. So their dot product should be 0. So equating that we find T and therefore the value of the point Q. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.